Why is the CO2 tolerance test a great measure for adaptation? It, we found that it is a threefold test, but the most important part of it is that it's a direct way of measuring stress and how you deal with stress. And through increasing this, your, your lungs CO2 tolerance, you have a direct way of increasing your adaptability to stress. What does stress encompass? Everything we do. Whether we're talking performance-wise, whether we're talking life, um, it doesn't matter. It all is stress to a large degree. And, and stress is necessary, but the, it's a threefold part, and it's a three-pronged approach in that we look at our three pillars in, in the art of breath, where we say state, physiology, and mechanics. And CO2 tolerance affects all three of these. If I change my CO2 tolerance, I change my state. If I change my, if I move into more nasal breathing, CO2 building, so we know this d develops the uh, CO2 tolerance far better. Um, I have to change my can mechanics in order to do that. Um, and there's, there's a direct relationship with understanding better position, better breathing mechanics. Um, physiologically, when I make better increases with CO2 tolerance, I'm making oxygen more bioavailable. So it's a great way to do this and um, it's a great way to measure stress and you know, it, it's something you don't need to do daily unless you have a pretty low score where we would um, you know, encourage people to take more time at practicing this because it can be just a mechanical issue um, and we should see some rather uh, remarkable increases in the beginning. Um, and then as you start to make adaptations, that starts to increase as well. So enjoy that.